Hi, my name is Tyler Maley, and I'll be your instructor for the online statistics section for fall of 2017. So welcome to class. So this video is a, um, I, I call it a syllabus video that will just go over some important things to, to get started in, in, in the class. So the first thing about taking an online class is that <clears throat> Well, pri primarily our, our classroom, if you will, will be in a learning management system that um, that we use called Canvas. So if you go to Marion Tech's website, um, there is a link um, at the top for Canvas. So you can click on that and, and get straight to Canvas. Um, and something else to note is that Canvas and our website are not um, dependent on one another, right? So our website has a link to Canvas, but Canvas is a separate, um, a separate system, right? Managed by, um, managed by a different, a different company. So one thing I always tell my online students is that you should know this URL, right? I would save it as a favorite, so that way, if for whatever reason Marion Tech's website is down, you can still get into Canvas and complete assignments. Right, so you can just go to go to this web page and still sign in, right? Even if Marion Tech um, Marion Tech's website is down. Right, so I'll just sign in here. So you'll sign in with your Marion Tech username and password. All right, so um, here this will launch on your dashboard and you'll see uh, courses listed here. If for whatever reason, if you wanna update what courses are shown here or maybe um, you have a class that's not shown on your dashboard, how you can get to that is if you go to courses and then go to all courses, you'll have a cumulative list of all the classes that you've been in. So uh, I'm in probably over a hundred class sections, right? Because I'm um, <clears throat> the math department head, but if you, but you probably don't have as many, right? Um, so let me just scroll down to where I have an orange star, right? Okay, so like here's one class where they have an orange star. So I can click here to remove that, or I can click on it to get the star back. Um, if you have the orange star there, that is um, what's going to be shown on the dashboard, right? So whatever classes you have orange star beside those classes will be here and then um, you'll have um, you also have those classes listed under courses right so under this this menu this short menu so the courses listed here also match your dashboard right so it just makes it nice and easy to update that list from term to term um, to show show only the classes that that you care to get into all right, so we're gonna go to statistics section 50, which is this class, and you'll launch into the website, right? And, and your um, your web page will look a little different than mine because uh, you're logged in as a student. But um, <clears throat> I'll point out a, a lot of the features that that you'll need to be aware of. All right, so here this is just launching to the home page, right? Welcoming you, and if and giving you some some links you can click on to get started so that way you know what to do and here's just my contact information right um, so this uh, announcements um, tab will actually be grayed out for you um, you won't see that um, but that that will populate once I post an announcement in here so I do want to point out that once I do post an announcement you will have the announcement button in between home and modules um, and when that's available, um, that, that's going to be how I communicate with the entire class for the term. So I don't necessarily send out mass emails, I send out mass announcements. Now in turn, um, you can have it have Canvas set up where if I post an announcement, you'll get an email to your Marion Tech account um, notifying you of the announcement. So, so in essence, uh, this creates a nice way to, for all the announcements to be um, in this spot in the Canvas course at a nice location for you and for me. Um, and then also uh, that could be emailed out to you so that way um, you make sure you're aware of the new announcements. 
So to change that, if you go to account and then if you click on notifications, click on that, that will bring you to a menu where you can update. Um, so I'll just click on that. So this is where you can update um, your notification preferences, right? So there are different ways you can do it. Notify me right away, send daily summary and so forth, right? So you can pick, pick those. Um, and here under announcement, if you want to make sure you get those emails, um, I highly recommend doing notify me right away for the announcements. All right, because that's going to be important information for you. All right, so let me go back into our course. All right, so then um, a lot a lot of stuff for this course, you'll be just going into the modules tab. That's where you'll be most of the time. Um, again, you won't see um, quite everything. Um, you will see this getting started agenda. So I, br I break everything up into modules. I put a getting started agenda in all my classes. So that's like like week zero, if you will, getting you ready for the term. And then here I have a module for important links that you'll need to use my stat lab. And then um, from there on out, I have everything broken out into weeks, right? So there's week one and then there's week one agenda, right? And we'll go through that in a moment. So I'm gonna open up the getting started agenda. Um, so there are um, important things for you to check out here. Um, one thing is to the syllabus. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Go over a few things with you. Um, so here's just standard information, right? There's my contact information, my office number, my email. Um, here are my office hours for this term. Um, so you can feel free to stop in the Academic Success Center during this time and I'll be available and also in my office um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and then standard, you know, course description and so forth. So I'm not going to read over the syllabus with you, but there are some things I want to point out. Um, so now talking about um, things that you'll need for the course, I do want to spend a moment and talk about that. Um, so I, I <clears throat> was able to um, initiate uh, direct digital access at our college, which is a new Pearson product. And the benefit of this is that, it, in essence, it, it allows for students to receive um, my stat lab or my math lab or my writing lab, so forth, those type of Pearson products at a discounted rate. Um, if the course is participating in that. Um, so I initiated um, most of our math classes. I think every, every one but two of them that didn't quite make sense um, are, are part of this um, par part of this deal. So it's really exciting, I think, for students because you're able to get it's able to save, save you some money. Um, so first let me go over, that that material with you. So I'm going to go to the Marion Tech website. Um, so I'm just going to open up the bookstore. Go to the virtual bookstore. Order textbooks. All right. So I'm going to go into statistics. All right. So here's information trying to explain, um, but sometimes um, may maybe the written um, description isn't as clear as it, it could be. Um, so I thought it might be beneficial for me to go over this and talk about it in person. It might make a little more sense. Um, so basically, in order to complete the course, you need access to my stat lab, right? which is a Pearson product. But with this direct digital access, every student is automatically enrolled in this, right? So in other words, as long as you didn't click on this opt-out, put your email address and click continue, you are automatically enrolled in the direct digital access. So what will happen on day 15 is you will be at charge this amount to your account. And what that does is that gives you access to my stat lab and gives you access to a copy of the ebook. Now, you might ask why you know you'd, you'd want this. Um, so to get that same feature, um, you you would have to come down here and purchase the textbook with the access code, 
for $194.16, right? Or if you purchase just the access code by itself, um, that range is anywhere from $120 to $130, right? So you're saving yourself some money. Um, so this is like the bulk pricing, if you will, um, by by not opting out, right? So I highly discourage you from opting out. I I highly suggest to do the direct digital access, right? So that way you can save yourself some money, right? Now, one thing that you'll also need um, in this class is a graphing calculator. So I highly recommend a TI-84 Plus, right? And there are different versions um, of this. If you already have like a TI-83, that should be fine. Um, or maybe like a TI Inspire, or if you have uh, another type of graphing calculator, that should be okay. Um, you know, please, um, um, so there's a discussion board called questions about anything. If you have questions about your calculator, it, it, <clears throat> please post in there what, what calculator you have and I can tell you if it'll work or not, right? But you, you are gonna need a graphing calculator in this course because we're gonna use some statistical packages um, to be able to calculate some some values that that you do need a graphing calculator to do that. Um, if I'm not sure if Staples or Office Max still is doing this, but they did have graphing calculators on sale. Let me check. Um, let's see, TI eighty four. Yeah, so they have them on sale, right? So um, th this is a newer version of, of the graphing calculator. You can buy the color version. So it's on sale for $120, and they have various colors here. Um, and then they also have just this version, the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. It's really the same exact thing. The, uh, the big difference is this newer version is lighter, it's in color, and it has rechargeable battery. So it has a cord where you can charge it like a cell phone. Um, where on the left, this calculator takes, um, what, four AAA batteries and a little heavier, a little bulkier, but <clears throat> they'll, they'll do the same, same thing, right? Um, so it just depends on what you want to buy. Um, so you can purchase anywhere, but I, I had just known that Office Depot, Office Max is running a sale. Um, and I believe the sale's not online. You have to purchase in the store, I believe. Um. So there's there's one just across the street, um, you know, in the, that Walmart Plaza area. Uh, if you're um, close to Marion, right? Um, so that that's the main resources you need. Uh, another thing that you're going to need is Microsoft Excel and R, which these can be downloaded for free, and I give you some um, information on how to download those, right? And if you do want to buy a hard version of the textbook, here's the textbook information. Um, you might be able to find a used copy on like Amazon or whatnot at a, at, at a reasonable rate. Um, that's up to you, right? But you will have a version of the textbook, just not a hard version. It's an ebook, right? With with your MyStatLab. Um, so here's just basic um, course objectives. So you can read over those if you'd like. Um, and then I broke the course outline into weeks. So my weeks go from Monday to Sunday. So let me pull up the calendar so you can see how this works. So like the term starts on Monday, so my week goes from Monday to Sunday. That's how I run my weeks. And then what I, um, so I used to have all the homework due on Sunday at midnight for my online classes, but what I found out is some people might have some te technical problems or maybe a question, and maybe I'm not available on Sunday, Marion Tech's closed on Sunday, they, they couldn't get help on, on that day. So what I decided to do is so for, for, the, for week one, which runs 28 to the third, what I do is I give you until the Tuesday at midnight to, to get the assignments in for that week, right? So you can see September 5th at 11.59 p.m. is the due date for week one assignments. Um, so then um, you have a couple, couple extra days, you know, to get through those technical difficulties and so forth and get things submitted. Um, so, so these two days are really meant as a safety net, right, for you if needed. So there really shouldn't be excuse for not getting homework done on time um, or getting getting things submitted, right? I, I'm, I'm giving you a couple extra days than I normally would um, as kind of a buffer there, right? So I break everything into weeks. Here I list what, what we're going to cover that week. And then over here I list assignments due for that week, right? 
Then I also post important dates like closures, the campus will be closed and so forth. And then um, like here week nine, we'll have a midterm exam. Um, and one note is that you will have one midterm and one final exam. Uh, those exams do have to be in a proctored environment, which means you have to be um, in a testing center and taking those in person. Um, so you can take those for free at Marion Technical College and our Student Resource Center, um, or you can request an alternative site. Uh, so maybe if there's a, another local college um, near you that has a testing center, and we can work out those details. But um, you know, you might have to test at a, a local college that might be closer to you. So, for example, I've had students in different states, and and you know, coming to Marion really is is not a easy easy thing for them. You know, I've had someone in California and 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 different places, Mississippi, and so forth. Um, so we'll work out those details. So we have plenty of time to to talk about that, and and pro probably won't post about that until about week two, week three, so forth, um, in, into the term. But I will post details about. Um, about the midterm exam, when you can take it, and if you need to request an alternative site, um, what what should you do to do that, right? So that way um, you have your planned and, and and ready for the midterm exam well in advance, right? And also for the final. All right. Um. So another big thing to talk about is just um, different assignments in the course so there will be homework on my stat lab um, there will be concept checks which there will be one uh, about one every chapter um, to focus on the big concept checks um, for that chapter and those will be completed on canvas um, and then we will have excel and R assignments that will be completed and submitted through canvas and you'll have quizzes on <clears throat> my stat lab um, and like I said, a midterm and a final exam, right? So you can read over those details and let me know if um, you have questions over that. So we're using just a standard grading scale in the class, and here's the breakdown for each of the assignment categories, right? Um, so here I want to make sure I go over the credit hour definition. So this is a three credit hour class, 16 week term, and it is online. So um, you're expected to spend nine hours in this class so that includes reading lectures homework and so forth to be successful right so um, you should set aside nine hours of, of the week and I highly recommend that you schedule this right um, and into your weekly schedule your weekly routine right so maybe I know every day from you know 10 o'clock at night to 1130 that's the time I have to work on statistics online then that's the time you have, right? Um, and the beauty about online is you could do it at 2 a.m., midnight, 5 a.m., 5 p.m., right? Anytime you want to do it. And go back and forth, um, you know, for <clears throat> for as long or as little as you want to spend on it at a time, right? But the point, the, the, the big point is you want to make sure you have at least nine hours cumulative um, in the course, right, to be successful, right? So that's... Um, what this class will be based on. Um, then there's other things you can read over. Um, and I'll I'll save that for you to read. Right. So those are the main highlights I wanted to hit on that. So we're done with this. Done with that. Done with that. All right. So we got that. Um, went over the syllabus. You can read. Click here and read the syllabus addendum. Right. So anything that's in blue in Canvas, this is a link that you can click on and and go to that. Um, I highly recommend checking out the math tutoring. So there's three different ways to receive math tutoring um, and, and some links to see what to do. And also I have math help websites listed there. Um, so below you're going to want to watch this video um, to learn about the Pearson DDA student experience, how to get started in DDA and so forth. Um, here read about the math CGC. So uh, that's important to read about that, that's affected in this course um, you know I'm asking you to download R download Microsoft Office so you can do that for free here's how to do that um, and then um, just information here about questions about anything so you can click on here and, and go to this discussion board and post questions that you have um, and then also I'm asking you to do some course introductions right so complete those um, and then these are the two videos I asked you to watch mentioned above 
So that so this will get you ready to go for the term. And then um, week one agenda. So I have this listed out, some things you can read. So I break it out. So I list like kind of like the lesson here. Um, and then I'm asking you to read in the textbook, um, giving you any notes and resources you might need for that lesson. Here's my lecture video. And then these are the assignments you can complete. Right. So, so it's kind of how I break everything down. And I'll post one week at, at a time. Right. Um, so then to get into my stat lab, right? These, so these are links that you'll be clicking on to get to different places. So if you need to complete a, a homework, you can click on this link. If you need to complete a quiz, you can click on this link or you can click on this link and it just lists um, the homework and quizzes in, in order, right? So it just lists, lists them all instead of just one or the other. Um, So like here, if I clicked on the My Stat Lab homework, notice there's no chapter one quiz now in between. It's just the homework. So it's just really a preference, whatever link you want to click on um, to get to that. The chapter zero homework, um, this is going to walk you through how to use features in My Stat Lab. So um, I would you know, definitely um, complete this assignment, read it in its entirety, and that, that will help you with that. Um, other big thing um, that you'll use this term is the Pearson eText. So if I click on this, um, I can click on this to load a new window. And now we'll pop up our textbook for the class, right, as an ebook. So you can get comfortable how to, how to use and read the textbook. But um, it's the cheapest way to get the textbook is, is through the ebook. So like here it is chapter 1.1, right? So you can read read through that. Um, and you can also um, switch to different views. Might be easier to read, right? Depending on depending on what device you're using. Um, there's different different options up here, right? So check everything out, right? And you can also search for certain terms. Um, so this is better than the index, right? So I don't know, maybe you want to look up um, I don't know, confidence interval, right? Then you can search for confidence interval and this will post up all the different pages that a confidence interval is, is mentioned, right? So I can just double click on that and it'll bring me to that page, right? All right, so um, that's all that I wanted to go through on, um, on this video. So again, if you have questions, um, so if I click on the discussion tab, um, here's the questions about anything. You can post in here any questions you might have. Um, so these, again, are for general questions, things that you'd want to ask from the whole class, right, because everybody can see this. Um, so if it's something personal, please email me. Um, but you can post questions in here. And I please ask you to uh, check this before sending me an email. Um, that way, you know, if like let's say one student asked me a question, um, then maybe <clears throat> five other people or ten other people have that same question, then they can get their answer here rather than me sending out ten separate emails about that, right? So um, a another plus is that it allows for you guys to interact with one another, and that's been shown to help with success. Um, and also, I encourage you to. You know, if, if you see someone that posts a question in here and you know the answer, please answer them. And then I will, you know, chime in if, you know, validate, you know, that the answer is correct or, um, you know, m you know, if in, and fix any anything that might might be incorrect. So we're, so we're all on the same page and all on the correct page. Um, but but this is a great resource. Right. And, and all of my online classes previously loved having this questions about anything discussion board. And it was very popular. Um, so please feel free to use that. Um, and also about email, um, I don't think I mentioned it yet in this video, but I, I receive probably about, I don't know, 40 to 50 emails a day on average. Um, it's pretty normal. So I 
one, I highly recommend, please identify yourself as Math 1240 Section 50, right? Math 1240 Online. So that way, um, that way I, I'm quicker and able to help you better, right? Because that's one of the first things I always need to try to figure out is where, what class is this student in, right? Because um, I, I teach a lot of students, a lot of sections, and I'm also the department chair, so I interact with multiple people, right? So uh, almost all the students. Um, another um, item is that you can expect about 20 me to get back with you in about 24 hours um, during the week and I asked for you know m it could be 48 hours on the weekend to, to get back with you um, so so that's a courteous response time that you could expect um, however I'll probably get back with you um, before then um, yeah, so I think that's all. So welcome to online statistics. I hope it's a good um, term for you, and um, I'm here to help. All right.